Hello YouTube, last time I did a physics related video for the Elder Scrolls, we calculated the gravity acceleration of NERN. Well, this is all in good fun, I got accused of ripping off game theory, so, you know, the only logical response to that would be to rip them off even more by calculating the real world value of Elder Scrolls objects. Please don't sue me, Matt Pat, I'm a big fan. People say that I don't have a life and I wholeheartedly agree, so let's just kick off with the video as soon as we can. So as I said before, last time, to do any real life calculations in the Elder Scrolls world, you need a point of reference. Last time we used the Imperial Septim coin for reference, as I have the official replica that's supposed to be a recreated one-on-one -on -one from the in-game version that came with the Collector's Edition of Oblivion. So if we take the measurements of the real life coin, we can calculate the measurements of Tamriel, like we did last time. So to calculate the real value of things in the Elder Scrolls universe, we're also going to need a point of reference. And this time, besides a point of reference in measurements and length, we also need a value reference point. And I think that this coin is very suited for that, as in-game coins are presumably all made of solid gold, as we don't know which materials they are made of, and they're just called plain gold. While this might not be the case in lore, as I mentioned in my video on the Septim coins and on the economy of Tamriel, it is the case in the game that they are all made out of solid gold. In the game, to make things easier for the player, each coin is made out of solid gold or just gold, just to make the monetary system not too complicated into a game that's already made for, well, casuals, at least the last Elder Scrolls, Skyrim. Hmm. So what are we going to do? Well the plan is, we are going to calculate the worth of one in-game coin and we're going to do it as if it was solid gold and then we're going to see what the real life prices would be. Mainly because I like doing stupid things and seeing things I cannot afford in real life. So what is a gold coin worth? To calculate that we need the volume of the coin so we can calculate its weight and with its weight we can calculate its value with the current gold worth per unit of mass. We will calculate in US dollars because that's just the easiest type of currency to calculate with and my audience is predominantly American so the Americans will understand. Don't worry Europeans I got you covered because we will calculate in kilograms. This is fun. So to calculate the volume of the coin we need to use the formula for the volume of a cylinder because in, as a, in, the, in the essence one coin is just a small cylinder. The formula for the volume of a cylinder is volume is pi multiplied by radius squared and then that multiplied by the height of the cylinder. You see the formula for the surface area of the coin is pi multiplied by radius squared as that is, as that is the formula for the surface of a circle. And then to calculate the volume of our coin which is a little cylinder we multiply the surface area with the height of the coin and then you get the entire volume. So. If I measure the coin the replica, we find out that it has a height of 2 mm or 0.2 cm and the radius of the coin is 1.85 cm. So if we use the formula we need to calculate pi multiplied by 1.85 cm squared which is 10.75 square centimeters for the face of the coin then multiply that by 0.2 cm and we get a coin volume of 2.15 cubic centimeters. So now, we need a density for gold. Density is essentially a constant every material has that describes how much weight a pure form of the material will have in a certain unit of volume. The density of gold is 19.32 grams per cubic centimeter. So if we have 2.15 cubic centimeters of coin, which is presumably pure gold, we have to multiply 19.32 with 2.15, which means the weight of our gold coin is 41.32. 53 grams. So now we need the value of gold per gram, which is $39.30 on the day of this recording, which is, the which is the 1st of December of 2018. So now we can multiply our amount of grams of gold constituting the coin with the worth of 1 gram of gold, which is $39.30. When we do that we get a total worth of $1632.44 per coin. As you can hear this is completely unrealistic and this means that if we give a beggar a piece of gold you are now giving him more than $1600. 
But since the math is correct, let's roll with it for now and we'll get to the unrealistic part later. If we take the real world value, world value of a septim, so that's $1632.44, we can calculate the real world value of Elder Scrolls things, that's fun. So if we for example take Breeze Home, the cheapest house in the games, it's 5000 gold. So when calculated to real world dollars, that means that Breeze Home, this little house, is 8.1 million dollars. If we take Proud Spire Manor, the most expensive house in the game, which is 25,000 coins, which translates to more than 40.8 million dollars. Even for a house that is bigger than an average house nowadays, it's way, way, way much to ask this. And even when we take simple food, like cabbage, which has a base value of 2 gold, you get that a cabbage is worth more than 3200 dollars. And for example, you know those ESO players that have more than 50 million coins? There's more than that, but those kind of players, they are essentially multi-billionaires at this point, if these values are to, are to be taken seriously. Now these prices and values are completely outrageous and are probably completely wrong. And this can mean four things if we look at the lore, because that's what this channel is about. Combining a lore with stupid things and then combining it with real life things. So the first option in my opinion, and that's most likely the scenario in my opinion, is that the gold we see in the games is just a placeholder for multiple different types of coins. So for example you have a silver coin, a bronze coin etc but you had just have one type of coin to represent it in the games the second possibility is that all gold coins we see in the games are way smaller and thinner in lore and just have made bigger have been made bigger to increase visibility for the player while playing the game i mean if it's a really small coin like a nickel but it's still made of gold you wouldn't see it lying around on the on the floors of bleak falls barrow so that would be a reason to maybe make them bigger or third also a pretty likely scenario, there is simply an abundance of gold in the Elder Scrolls universe. It could be that there is so much solid gold in the Elder Scrolls universe that the material has completely devaluated and is now practically worthless and usable as a currency. I mean, there is a spell that lets you transform iron into gold in the Elder Scrolls universe. That can't be a positive thing for your currency. <laughs> I mean, I've been told that on Earth we only have like a couple of Olympic swimming pools filled with pure gold. If taken everything together and while that sounds like a lot it really isn't if you take the immense size of the earth into comparison with it that's part of the reason why gold is so valuable part of it because there isn't a lot of it if in the Elder Scrolls universe there's a lot more gold that would mean that the gold itself would be worth a lot less so it would be immensely devaluated and the fourth option is that the gold that we see in the games is not made out of pure gold and rather made out of a composite or just a lesser quality of gold. For example, nowadays gold coins are typically 14k gold, which is a lot less valuable than pure gold. And more importantly, a lot less heavy. Because if we take my calculations as truth, because they are mathematically correct, taken with the games, just not really realistic, a gold coin is, 14, uh, is 41 grams. Carrying a thousand coins, which isn't too weird for the average Skyrim player, let's be real, would mean that you were carrying 41 kilos. That's almost like carrying an average toilet with you wherever you go. So what conclusion do we make of this? Well, in my opinion, the conclusion to all of this is that the monetary system as seen in the games does not make much sense. And that in lore it's probably way more of a complex system made out of multiple coins or different values or it's maybe smaller coins, perhaps that, that, that's the reason behind it, but the system as we see here is probably not workable, unless there's an abundance of gold, which makes the decision to use gold coins a lot more realistic. But yeah, this is just me overthinking things and they probably just wanted to keep it simple for the player and just went with generic gold instead of making playing the Elder Scrolls feel like a finance class, but still. I really like doing these kind of videos and they truly make bring me the most joy as you can probably hear. Anyway, I hope you really liked this video. If you did, like the video, subscribe. Uh, yeah, if you want to support me in a more personal way, there's my Patreon, you get the name of every video, yada 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 yada. You can see that always on the Patreon. If you want personal contact with me, there is my Instagram 
and Discord in the description of this video. On there I usually am active, so don't be afraid to send me a message if you want to say something. And with that said, I will make an end to this video. I will see you all later, and I hope that you all have a fantastic day.